Ah, this is Block 7, The Greatest Generation, Section 3, War Without the United States, with the section, The Election of 1940. Rumors circulate throughout the country, throughout Washington, will Roosevelt run for a third term? Will Roosevelt run for a third term? Uh, no one had ever run for a third term. That every president uh, had always respected George Washington's precedent of two terms and two terms alone. Uh, but speculation was rampant whether Roosevelt would break that um, and run for a third term. The Republicans met in Philadelphia that year, and they elected um, a political newcomer, kind of a he burst on the scene. He was a little bit of a star. Here he is. This is Wendell uh, Wilkie. Wendell Wilkie. Uh, Wendell Wilkie was a, a lifelong Democrat. Uh, Wendell Wilkie um, had headed a public utilities corporation. Uh, Wendell Wilkie had voted for Roosevelt in 1932, uh, but he kind of burst on the scene criticizing uh, the extravagances uh, of the New Deal, criticizing the efficiency of the New Deal. He said, look, what the New Deal's trying to do, I kind of get, but I can do it better. I can do it more efficiently. I was a businessman, Roosevelt never was. I'm a person interested in efficiency, Roosevelt isn't. That American people, Wilkie says, if you elect me, you're gonna still have the New Deal. You're just gonna have the New Deal run better. Um, him and Roosevelt were completely in agreement on what to do with the war. They both, they, uh, Wilkie was not an isolationist. Uh, isolationist Republicans lost uh, this round. Wilkie supports aid to Great Britain uh, in its fight against Hitler. Um, so the Republicans really kind of thought that they had a, they had a good chance here. Um, and if any Democrat besides Roosevelt had, had uh, run, they probably would have had a really good chance. But with a, a few months to go before the election, Roosevelt did announce that he would be seeking a third term. And he justified uh, his decision on not the New Deal and not the Depression and not uh, the, what's been going on domestically, but he says at this point in time, the United States needs an experienced hand at the wheel, um, that he had a close working relationship with Churchill in England, um, and that with all of the uncertainty in the world, the American people should choose a leader uh, who they knew well and loved and respected. And when the votes were counted, look, Republicans did better in 1940 than they had done in 1932 and 1936, but we are still talking about an overwhelming uh, victory for President Roosevelt. Um, he doesn't, he, he has no bad feelings towards Wendell Wilkie. Pretty much uh, after the election, he sent Wilkie over to England to meet with Churchill as his personal representative. Um, this was not a nasty campaign, really, um, but in it, the American people recognized that the the country was moving from the Depression to um, a time of international uh, problems, and they wanted someone they knew at the helm. And Roosevelt, in 1940, earned his third term from the American people. Just in terms of finishing your notes, where did Wilkie run strong? You can see where Wilkie runs strong. Even though he is an interventionist, even though he supports uh, old age, he still runs strong in your isolationist parts of the country, the Great Plains states, parts of the Midwest, and the traditional Republican strongholds up in New England. 